Is there a way to know if there's a natural gas pipeline running under your house? And how big is it? How old? Barbara Pinto tells us how some people found out. The incidents happen every other day in this country. It's something we need to get a clear handle on before it gets worse. In this San Diego neighborhood last night, more trouble seeped from underground. The frightening smell of natural gas forced dozens from their homes. And in Illinois, hundreds of workers scrambled to contain crude oil that gushed for three days from a ruptured main. Often, as in Friday's tragedy in California, residents say they had no idea what was beneath their homes until it was too late. This despite the fact that utilities are required by law to clearly mark pipelines and notify residents about those aging neighbors they don't see. Here in the Chicago neighborhood, residents share this street with an underground natural gas pipeline, but there's no evidence of it, no obvious signs. Water lines are, are fairly decently marked, but uh, gas lines, no. Those pipelines are a subterranean oil and gas superhighway crisscrossing the nation. Two and a half million miles of pipeline, enough to wrap around the earth 100 times. Much of that infrastructure is at least 40 years old and in some cases in decay. It's kind of a wake-up call for all of us. So the vast majority of these high-pressure, large transmission pipelines are never required to be inspected. That's because only pipelines near natural resources or population centers are subject to mandatory inspection, and only 7% of those major lines run anywhere near a neighborhood. Utility companies know where pipelines are buried, but residents might not. Barbara Pinto, ABC News, Chicago. And one tip for homeowners, natural gas leaks smell like rotten eggs. And if you want to learn about other clues, head to abcnews.com slash world news.